The 20.25.30.50 EMA strategy is a popular moving average based trading technique that helps traders identify trend direction, key areas of support, resistance, and entry exit points. Here's a detailed breakdown of how you can use these EMAs to make informed trading decisions. 1. Understand the EMAs. 20 EMA, short term trend indicator. It is very responsive to recent price changes, useful for capturing short term momentum. 25 EMA, slightly smoother than the 20 EMA but still a short term average, often used to confirm or filter the 20 EMA signals. 30 EMA, medium term trend indicator. It helps smooth out short term fluctuations and gives a broader view of the trend. Negative 50 EMA, longer term trend indicator, used to establish the broader market direction and to act as dynamic support or resistance. Second EMA, crossover as a signal. Bullish crossover. When the shorter EMAs, 20, 25, cross above the longer EMAs, 30, 50, it indicates that bullish momentum is picking up and a possible buy opportunity may emerge. Bearish crossover. When the shorter EMAs, 20, 25, cross below the longer EMAs, 30, 50, it signals bearish momentum and a sell opportunity may present itself. 3. EMA alignment, strong uptrend. All the EMAs, 20, 25, 30, 50, are aligned in ascending order, i.e. 20 EMA above 25 EMA, 25 EMA above 30 EMA, and 30 EMA above 0, 50 EMA. This alignment is a strong confirmation of an uptrend, and it's best to look for buy positions. Strong downtrend. The EMAs are aligned in descending order, i.e. 50 EMA above 30 EMA, 30 EMA above 25 EMA, and 25 EMA above 20 EMA. This alignment confirms a strong downtrend, and it's best to look for sell positions. Thank you for liking the video. Let's go to the most important strategy from which you can learn a lot. Fourth, key areas for entry are exit, pullbacks to EMAs. In an uptrend, when the price pulls back to any of the EMAs, 20, 25, 30, 50, these can serve as dynamic support levels, offering good buy entry points. In a downtrend, the EMAs act as resistance, and price bounces off them, offering good sell opportunities. EMA clustering. When the 20, 25, 30, and 50 EMAs converge closely together, it indicates a consolidation phase. A breakout from this range can lead to a strong directional move. A breakout above the cluster signals a buy, and a breakdown below signals a sell. 5. Trade Management Stop Loss Placement In a bullish setup, place the stop loss just below the 50 EMA or recent swing low. In a bearish setup, place the stop loss just above the 50 EMA or recent swing high. Profit Targets Use the EMAs to trail your stop loss. For example, in a long position, as price moves up, you can trail your stop just below the 30 or 50 EMA. For aggressive profit taking, watch for divergence between price and EMAs, price moving up, but EMAs flattening or turning down. This signals weakening momentum. Alternatively, use previous swing highs, lows, or support resistance levels as profit targets. Six. Confluence with other indicators, RSI, Relative Strength Index. Look for overbought, oversold conditions to support your EMA signals. For example, if the EMAs align in a bullish manner and the RSI is oversold, this is a high probability buy setup. MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Use the MACD to confirm EMA crossovers. If a bullish EMA crossover coincides with a bullish MACD crossover, the signal is stronger. 7. Trend Confirmation Before entering any trade, confirm the overall trend by checking higher time frames, e.g., 1-day or 4-hour charts. If the 50 EMA on a higher time frame supports your setup, the trade has more strength. Thank you for watching the video so far. I hope you can make the most of it. Watch the video related to the strategy.